welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, in this video, I'm doing my recipe spread for the week. And this week, I decided to um, do a recipe that my great-grandmother was famous for. Like, everybody loved um, this. Whenever she made it, everybody loved it. And it is coleslaw. So, I just went on to um, Google Images and just grabbed a, any you know, picture of coleslaw that kind of resembled what she would make. Uh, and back in the 90s, uh, my grandmother's church, all the women in her church um, got together and uh, made a cookbook. And they had it printed and they, sell, they sold it to raise money for the church. And so I have one here and her coleslaw is in it. I got a Gotta go to the page. Okay, it's right here. So here's her coleslaw. Um, this is this is a really, I mean, this is awesome that that they did this because my grandmother's been gone um, for quite. Well, she's only been gone for a couple years, but before that, her mind was gone. So um, I'm so glad to be able to have this. There's all quite a few other recipes of hers in here. Um, but coleslaw is the one that, um, I want really bad. So I want to get, I want to do a spread of it and, um, get it into my recipe planner. And for the stickers, um, for this spread, I'm going to use Ingrid Blooms. I have not used this sticker book at all. It is for the big, but it's a recipe spread, so I, it doesn't really matter. Um, I use mini and classic size stickers in my recipe, um, on my recipe pages so uh i i kind of like using the big because the stickers are a little bit bigger and whenever it goes comes to like writing instructions for recipes you know i want a, a big sticker as to fit as much, many instructions as i can into one box but anyway all right so i'm going to um i think i want to use the blues and greens in here or maybe these reds, red and orange, or not red and orange, but like red and purple. I need to pick which one I want to do. Or maybe even yellows. I like this little sticker right here. Okay, so I'm going to use the red and the yellows. So, uh, since I wanted to pick what color I was using so I can know what color pin to grab uh, to write the recipe. So I'm gonna write the recipe up um, up at the top really quick with this um, red, I think this is a Pentel touch pan, yeah. Okay, so I called my great grandmother Mimi, so I put Mimi's coleslaw up at the top. Um, now for, I'm gonna grab my Micron .05 and fill in down the top. Um, Let's see. It doesn't say how many it serves or how much it makes. I don't even know what any of the information is on there. Um, but I can still put main ingredients, cabbage, and Marigold Whip. Difficulty, I'm gonna say it's pretty easy. I don't know the prep time or any of that. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do any, I'm not gonna fill in any of that. Okay, I'm gonna write out the ingredients box here and the preparation box. Okay, now before I get into all this, I'm gonna look for stuff to decorate with. This box right here was my inspiration sticker, so I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab my wax paper. I have all, I'm getting ready to do my currently page for the month of July, so I've got all my currently props down here on this wax paper, so I'm just gonna turn it over and use the other side. Okay. Um, 
I think I might put this up here instead of down at the bottom, but I'm gonna white out because I'm gonna white out all this because it'll, it's gonna shadow through. So let's white out all of this. this down okay and I need some small boxes so I'm gonna go into I got a, a bunch of um, just random older happy planner sticker books up on the shelf beside my desk here and I'm just gonna grab okay so I got a super mom there are boxes in here and plenty of colors in here that I can use. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this yellow. It's quite long though. I'm gonna put this right here and layer this yellow sticker. over top of it, but it's very crooked. So now I'm gonna write ingredients right here in this. Okay, and there are, I'm gonna put this back away. Well, I'll need it in a minute for one more box, but anyway, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ingredients. Um, let's see, I got some bullet points sitting over here. There aren't any bullet points in that sticker book, so let's see. I got these little star looking bullet points. Uh, I guess I can use orange because there's orange in this sticker book or that sticker sticker book. Anyway, there's nine, I said, so I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna put nine of these down. Okay, it's kind of tight um, because I'm using bigger stickers, so um, I hope that doesn't affect anything. Oh, also, so I have some, a bunch of stickers like pulled out on here and I've got little floral pieces. So, and then I've got this, I got to turn to this uh, gold foiled page. I was thinking of putting some of these down. So, well, wait a minute. Let me write down the ingredients first. That way I don't have to risk writing on top of the sticker. So, all right. Okay, I've got all of the ingredients written down. So now I can put down some of these um, little floral pieces. So my thought was to like layer some of these together. Kind of like this. But that one's a little too big. Okay, I'm gonna do the smaller one. No, well, okay. I mean, it was a good idea, but I don't, unless I can put it here. No, it blends too much. I wanna be able to see it. I could put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. All right, down here, I want, I'm gonna white out where it says serve with. And I wanna take this like bigger floral piece that I pulled out. And I wanna put it right here. And there's another one just like that one, but it's a bit smaller. I'm gonna wait to see how um, everything falls. So I got another one of these just like that. And I'm gonna layer it here so I can do that again for the um, directions. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna go back into the Super Mom book and find another box. Uh, I guess I can use orange. 
didn't really, I don't want to really want to use yellow again. I could put that back away. Okay, so now I'm gonna write directions in this box. And honestly, the directions is like, it's really small. Um, there's not a whole lot to write. So I pulled out this double box right here. It matches all of the, all the stickers. I think that's too much. I want to find a plain one. I think that's too many, too many, too much of that pattern in one area. Okay, so I couldn't really find any plain or, um, yeah, just plain uh, boxes in that sticker book. So I grabbed uh, Jewel Time boxes from my stack of boxes I have on the shelf beside of me. And I grabbed this one out, but it's, it has an importance on it. So, um, I'm just going to lay this down. Let's see. I'm going to lay this down here. And see if I can layer this over top of it to kind of cover that up. I mean, it covers it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna trim it though, because it's a little long. So I'm gonna trim it right there. Okay. What did I put that on? Oh. There's a uh, piece of scrap from over here. I think I might lay it right there. All right, so I'm gonna write the directions in this box right here and then finish up. So the instructions were very short and simple. And I kind of, I don't know, I probably could have put it in a smaller box if I wrote smaller. So anyway, there's that. Now I'm going to put the uh, picture down. I'm going to put it like right here so I can put these florals that I have pulled out over here. Okay. So I'm going to take my Zig glue pen that I use for my pictures all the time. It's, it's so much uh, cost efficient and easy, easier than using so much tape, run, like the, all the tape runners. Like I have, I bought, I've bought way less tape runners since I started using the glue pens and the glue pens last longer. Like one glue pen lasts way longer than one tape runner. Okay, so there is the picture. Now, I'm gonna take these two little florals that I had pulled out. And let's see, I'm gonna put this one here. And this one here. All right, in this book, I saw a small little quote box sticker or box with a quote in it, and I think it'll go well right there over top of those florals. Okay, so it says, Fall in love with today. Put that there, make it look like the florals are late, or it's the, the florals are like clustered or bundled with it, layered. And that's it. Yep, 
that's good. So this is my recipe spread for my grandmother's coleslaw. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.